So what's going on guys? Here is the uh, Coleman CT200U EX. Now it's been a while since I posted about this bike. And a lot of you guys actually subscribed to me because of this bike. And I had a lot of different plans and things I wanted to do with it. And then put all the projects I got, uh, kind of got tied up in the little rascal, big rascal. I got videos coming up with those bikes. Um, big rascal got the uh, torque converter and the 228 uh, little rascal 236 torque converter eh, you know what? you guys are not here about that you guys are not here about those bikes but anyway a lot of projects and um i've been sleeping on this bike uh as most of you guys know if you followed me this was the bike that started off um really it was one of my first bikes that i got i got it for father's day um, so I always knew I was going to do something with it really nice. And it's beginning now. Um, we got the uh, six inch stretch kit uh, welded on. So it's going to be lowered. Um, well, the way I got it, it's going to be lowered. I mean, I could have went up higher, but I, I don't want the bike to be too low. Um, but um, yeah, so it's extended six inches. And you can get the four inch kits too. But I would just say, you know what, let's go bigger, go home. We got the six inch. Um, I'm trying to think. So we got, I don't know, guys, I want you to chime in, help me out. Let me know what you think. So I got the 301, um, got the torque converter. Uh, so I'm in, stuck in between. Like I said, I wanted to go bigger, go home with this bike, right? Um, so. We're gonna actually redo and change this whole bike up. It's gonna look like a different bike by the time I'm done. But this is kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking either go with the 301, continue to build it, or go with the 459 Predator. So what do you guys think? Keep on building the 301, or go with the 459 predator engine um i really leaning towards the 459 predator just because i guess it helped with you know content of more people are trying to it's a new engine so people are wanting to build it and stuff like that i was thinking about just getting this frame ready first we're going to do the uh i think i'm going to keep the eight inch the eight inch wheel and we're going to go with the um 15 by 7 by 6 Hoosier slick in the back. Um, we're going to do a skinny wheel up front. I haven't decided on the skinny wheel yet because I know there's a couple different places that make like a 10 inch skinny wheel I could use. Um, so I don't know if I want to do that or I was thinking more along the lines of the 6 inch, six inch up front um, and then go with the uh, 15 inch tall tire on that one. So six, the six inch rim with the 15 inch tall tire up front. Like it's, it's more of like a skinny, kind of like what's on the big rascal. Um, similar tire, you know, and then have the big old wide boy in the back. Um, again, still debating. I've seen a guy that, you know, does really good videos. His name is a uh, fat buddy cat. And um, he was wanting to, oh, well, not he was one. He um, rebuilt these. So he has a video on rebuilding these and making them a little bit stiffer. So I think that would be perfect for racing. So I might do that. Um, he has a little socket trick where he adds, you know, he adds some thicker oil, I believe, and then he throws a socket in there. And um, these are also adjustable. So what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this to lower the bike's front end a little bit when I put the other tire on and then go with clamp mount uh, handlebars that actually clamp right here, which this will probably stick it up a little bit more. So I'll probably clamp them there. Um, Sound throttle, but let me know, guys. What do you think for this bike? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go all out on it. I'm talking about I'm gonna it's I'm gonna weld uh, well grind off a lot of the access that's on here. We're gonna change the foot pe pegs up a bit. Um, but what do you think? Keep on going with the 301, or go with the 459 predator engine and then, then the other thing is if i want the 459 i'm still debating if i want to go torque converter because the torque converters are huge on that bike um i'm not on that bike on those engines 
So I was wondering, maybe maybe just even go with a clutch, you know, because it's going to be a drag bike, right? Um, and I think the 459 or even the 301 does, but the 459 definitely has the power to um, to pull with just a regular clutch. Um, so if you guys get any ideas what you think I should do, uh, just let me know. Um, again, um, I'm open to any ideas. What do you guys think I should go, go with this bill? Just put it in the comments. Um, what else? Uh, so yeah, this is the six inch, six inch kit. They don't really, so there's the people that sell them and this one really isn't for this frame, but it fits because it's, it's flat. But I think um, the guy that builds them is, they're for moto boxes and your DBs. He has the round edge models and um, I guess kind of some with more of the curve to it to fit the DBs. But yeah, there's a there's a couple people. Uh, eh. Boy, I'm tongue tied today. There's a couple different people that actually make these. So uh, this is just the beginning. This thing's gonna look sweet. And we were thinking about getting it powder coated too when it's all said and done. I got everything all together. Um, we're gonna go with a powder coat. But anyway, just figure I'd give you an update and share the build. We're gonna do something about this. We're gonna cut these foot pegs off and. It's gonna be a new placement on the foot pegs. I mean, it's gonna be a, a totally different bike when I'm done. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Wear your helmet when I don't. It's just a little update. Again, in the comments, let me know. 301, I'll go with the 459. And then if I go with the 459, regular clutch or a torque converter. You guys have a good one. Wear your helmet even when I don't. Oh, we should be posting a race video later on today.